Hey guys, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to make some charred punk wood. Charred punk wood. What is punk wood? Punk wood is rotten wood, but we're going to make a charred punk wood, which we can use like char cloth, uh, making a fire. And I've got a video on how to make char cloth. And I used a mess kit to make a bunch of char cloth. What I'll we'll probably do is make some more char cloth and but a lot of punk wood. Uh, we're going to take that and make some charred punk wood. Punk wood works the same way as char cloth. If you get one spark on it, it'll just smolder and smolder and smolder, and you can make a fire real easy with it, uh, especially with a metal striker and flint, a flint metal striker. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Let's see how long it takes to do that. And the mess kit, again, I've got a video on the mess kit right here. Uh, I used it to make char cloth and the char cloth I made before I used a t-shirt this is like 100% cotton t-shirt cut it in strips like this right here I rolled it up I'd say you probably don't want to roll it up uh, I got a lot of char cloth from that t-shirt to making char cloth uh, but what I'm going to use is going to be punk wood which punk wood is basically just rotten wood and here's a piece of punk wood right here. All this right here in this trash can is punk wood that I threw in here. Because it rained last night, and I was in my tent last night. And punk wood, this right here is just about the right consistency. You see, you can squeeze it, and it just springs back out like a sponge. It's a lot denser than a sponge. And see, there's it, nothing gets on my hand from this. It's not squishy. It's doesn't, you know, it's not rotten, rotten or anything like that. But it's uh, dried out, super dried out. And see, this piece right here would make it a real good piece of charred punk wood. And so I'm going to cut this up right here and fill this uh, pan up with the uh, punk wood. And now, so here's some right here. Now, some of this right here, this right here, to me, is just a little bit too mushy right here. You don't want that kind of mush. But here's a good piece right here. This is, see how that ripped off in a big piece right here? You don't want the mushy part of punk wood. You want the something that's a little bit firm. Okay. So, we will take our punk wood. We put it in here. We can take our cotton t-shirt right here i rolled it up like a cigar before and it worked real well but i think i'd leave it unraveled this is black uh colored black naturally so but when it's charred it will uh be super black like coal and we put our top on right here like this a strap across here and this right here will clip in place and I'll just turn on the uh, the uh, cooker here and let this heat up and after a few minutes you'll see uh, smoke start to come out the side here I've always used this to make char cloth so I know it, it works fine so eventually uh, smoke will start to come out here like a pop-off valve and you just watch that smoke, and eventually that smoke will stop coming out. And once it stops coming out, it, you, I'd wait another five minutes and then turn this off. And then you take this and set it down somewhere and leave it there for like 20, 30 minutes till it cools off. If you try to open this, after you take it off, it could combust. Okay, and what it's doing, the air becomes superheated in here, and... It breaks down the wood and the cotton to its natural carbon state, to its natural carbon state, okay? And it's one of the greatest and best igniters there is. It goes back hundreds of years uh, using char cloth or, char or wood, punk wood. And there are a lot of other things you can use. Any kind of fibrous living material can be broken down into a charred material that will hold a spark only takes one spark to to start to smolder, and it'll smold, uh, say, a half-inch piece of cloth, about my 
fingernail size on my thumb here will burn for about a minute and a half to two minutes sometime. So you put that into your uh, tender when your uh, nest egg. You put that into your tender to your uh, your bird nest, and uh, as long as you got your tender the right size and all, uh, and blow on it, it'll catch on fire. People have been doing this for hundreds, hundreds of years, so it works really well. So, okay, bon appetit. So, I made sure I got all the uh, punk wood here that's it's not, you know, pasty or you know, falling apart that well. More like a sponge right here, and yeah, so that's that'll make a lot of punk wood right there, and and we'll lay. Our T-shirt on here, and maybe we can get that top down on here. Yep. Okay. The real key right here is to make sure that this lid is on here evenly all the way around. Otherwise, it's going to let too much gas escape from that, okay? Okay. So, we got a valve on here. What do we do now? I can hear gas coming. And we have gas. We have light. And we don't need a big flame for this, just because... That's not that big. And I mean, you can turn it up and heat it up quicker than how, how high you want to heat it up. But this metal is pretty thin on here. And there are other types of metal cans that are a lot thinner than this, like stainless maybe. A lot thinner, and it takes a lot less heat to heat it up. So we'll see how long it takes. Okay, we're at the uh, about six and a half minute mark right here. And uh, I just want to show you the smoke that's coming off of this right here. You can see it. Most of that's coming from this side right here. And uh, you just heat it up like this. And I've got it, you know, low. Uh, don't take much for the mess kit. And uh, just let it heat up and smoke. And to, when it quits smoking, that's when you know that all the gases uh, in the wood, in this case, and in the 100% cotton uh, material has been broken down to its natural carbon state. And uh, so then it'll be ready. Uh, it'll be done. So just do it until this quits smoking right here. You know, and that's that's how you know when it's done. And I give it another five minutes after that just to make sure. And then again, set this to the side for 30 minutes or so. Let it cool down before you open it. Okay. Okay. Our gases are slowing down a lot. You don't see too much of the gas. I can see, I don't know if you can see them gas coming off of this just a little bit so it's close to being done and uh, I usually give about another five minutes you can overdo this too you don't want to do that the wood and the cloth in here are not burning up they're not on flames or anything like that they just get superheated and it breaks breaks them down to the carbon state and so we're at 24 minutes, be 25 minutes on our iPhone here. Just got a little catch right here. This is what we have after 30 minutes in the flame.
Well, all this brown right here, this is no good. This uh, dark black is good. I wasn't sure how that was going to work with a shirt on there. This dark black right here is good. That black is good. So we can we can simply pull that apart. Now when you pull on it, if it's elastic, it's, that's not any good. It has to tear real easily. That's black, but that's not tearing easy. That's not good. Okay. Now, some of this wood right here did not char. Like, that's that's not any good. So, you're not going to have 100% char all the time. Now, this right here, that's really black right there. So, that's... That's good right there. Part of that right there is good. The other side, not so great. That's good. Uh, Sixty-five percent of this, maybe, maybe, maybe sixty percent of this right here is actually good, char good and charred the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like this right here. Now that's after 30 minutes. So, I mean, part of it charged why the other did not char. I don't know, like that. So, That does with a spark here. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. That was just one tiny spark. See, it's just really, really burns. And that's burning quick right there. I don't think I can put that out. And so you just take this right here and put it in your bird nest with a tender. This thing is going fast. real fast I mean we had one little spark on this right here and uh, I mean this thing just started to light up really quick I mean I can feel the heat off of that that is already turned into charcoal that one piece and that's about two inches long It just gives you an idea. This is different than char cloth right here a little bit. And the fact that just one spark on that caused all of this to to ignite really quick. So that whole piece right there, when you put it in your tender, and this is just stuff that comes off of this right here. When you put that in your tender, 
it just stays in this smoldering state until, and you as you blow on it, you get more and more results. And see, it'll it'll stay that way for a long time, for minutes sometimes. So that shows you that the char punk wood right there, how well that works. Now generally, I don't like um, I don't like striking down on it. Um, like that. But it only took that one little spark to start that off. This is the part I don't like about punk wood. With punk wood, you can't hold it up against your flint and put it up here where my thumb is and then strike it. It's easy to strike char cloth better than this. Yeah, it's a lot easier to start to light char cloth than it is to light this right here. To me it is. I mean, as far as, as you know, striking it and getting your sparks to fall on it to light it, that's one thing. While it's so much easier to take your char cloth instead of punk wood, and hold it up here like this and then strike it now this is not going to work of course because this is brown it didn't charcoal okay what do we learn out of this number one in the mess kit that's what it looks like on the inside this brown stuff gets on your hand it is a little pain to clean that up but uh, about 60 65 percent of the punk wood we had in here did actually uh, turn into a uh, charred punk wood okay so that's good some of it did not like this right here but that's super dry and that will that will help you uh, start a fire too so you can keep that too and uh, where I was trying to show you that uh, move this out of the way here I was trying to show you that a lot of times with punk wood, what you end up doing is is taking a, a steel striker and you're going to be coming down and putting a spark on this right here like that. That's hard to do sometimes, okay? I'm going to move that because I don't want to set that on fire. So your sparks have to fall, and they just kind of fall all over the place. So it's easier... If you have a can that has a lid that will seal, I don't trust the lid on this to seal 100% to smother it. But a lot of times what you do to make it easier is to take right here and spark it so that the spark would fall into this pan. And it's going to fall and ignite some piece of this charred uh, punk wood here. And you just pick out the piece that it, that it, uh, it lit. Okay, take that one piece right there, you take that out, and then you put the, the lid back on top here, and that will suffocate any other charcoal that may have a spark. That'll suffocate it, and that'll stop it from burning. Otherwise, if you can't suffocate it, it will not stop burning. It will continue to burn. Okay. So we do have our, our punk wood here. And we got some good pieces here that are good and charred and will work real well. And I've got a bunch of these little cans that I put this stuff in. So you don't want humidity to get to this right here. Okay, guys, this is what we got out of the can there. And this is a, about a six inch by four inch by inch and a half maybe can right here. And um, so that's pretty full right there, and that's a good bit. And we just break off pieces as we need them. And um, if you're using your striker and you strike and sparks, uh, you can do that over the whole can right here. And you see one spark that nights a uh, 
piece of punk wood over here, uh, charred punk wood, you just take that ember up and pick it up and put that in your uh, tender uh, bird's nest that you're going to make a fire with. And the rest of it, you may have sparks over here that may have ignited something, and that's where you would take the lid and put over here, push the lid down all the way, make sure it doesn't have any holes, and it'll suffocate any flame in there and preserve your um, charred punk wood. And that's the way you do it. And you can have small cans like this right here too that uh, put your punk wood in here, charred punk wood. And I got like charred cloth in here too. So uh, that's just another idea. And you can cook and you can make char cloth in this and you can make punk wood in this. You don't make a lot of it, but you can do that. Just put it in the fire with a little pinhole in it uh, with your cotton cloth or your punk wood. And it may take about 10 minutes for it to, to make inside this small can here, which is uh, about two and a half inches by inch and a half. Thanks for watching, guys. Gary J.